let me ask you some mm -hmm. advice to put on your profound hat. Mm -hmm. What, uh, there's a bunch of young folks who listen to this thing for no good reason whatsoever. Uh, undergraduate mm -hmm. students, maybe high school students, maybe just young mm -hmm. folks, young at heart, uh, looking mm -hmm. for uh, the next steps to take in life. What advice would you give to a young person today mm -hmm. about life, maybe career, but also life in general? Get good at some stuff. <laughs> well, get to know yourself, right? Like get yeah. good at something that you're actually interested in. You have to love what you're doing to get good at it. You really got to find that. Don't waste all your time doing stuff that's just boring or bland or numbing, right? Don't let old people screw you. <laughs> well, people get talked yeah. into doing all kinds of shit and yeah. racking up huge student, you know, student yeah. debts and like there's so much crap going on, you know. And then drains your time and drains. Yeah, you know, the Eric Weinstein, energy. you know, thesis that you know the older generation won't let go. Yeah, and they're trapping all the young people. I think there's some in. truth to that. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, that, just because you're old doesn't mean you stop thinking. I know lots of really original yeah. old people. I'm an old person. So, um, but you have to be conscious about it. You can fall into the ruts and then do that. I mean, when I hear young people spouting opinions, that sounds like they come from Fox News or CNN. I think right. they've been captured by groupthink and memes and As stuff. As opposed and, to thinking on their own. You know, so if you find yourself repeating what everybody else is saying, you're not going to have a good life. Mm. Like, like that's not how the world works. It may be, it seems safe, but it puts you at great jeopardy for, well, being boring or unhappy.